Hi all. Today let's discuss about a very important feature in SSIS. Logging in SSIS. So you can log the or you can track the package execution in SSIS. So you can track the package execution at the package level, at the container level and at the task level. So with the help of the log providers. So we'll talk about log providers later. And so and and also so if there is any failure in the package at the task level so you can usually identify that failure and what is the failure and what is exact error message you can identify with the help of the so logging in SSIS and you can identify the what is the runtime in the package. So how much time it has taken like a package, how much time it took to run, how much time it took to run the container, how much time it took to run the task. And see the logs are associated with the packages and you can directly configure the logs at the package level or you can configure at the task level. Tasks and containers in a package can be enabled for logging even if the package itself is not. Even though the package is not enabled for the logging, you can enable at the tasks and container level. So what are all the different kinds of log providers? So there are different kinds of log providers SSS is going to support. So the first one is a text file. Second one is a SQL Server Profiler. Third one is SQL Server. Fourth one is Windows Event Log. Fifth one is XML file. So the famous across all these five log providers are text file and SQL server mostly very rare case will go with XML file and so when I say text file where are you going to track the execution flow or runtime information of a package is text file means while working with the log provider with a text file I need to specify the path of the text file. When I say SQL Server Profiler, again here also the same, I need to specify the path of the file which is using by the SQL Server Profiler. The next one is a SQL Server. So SQL Server is a kind of RDBMS. So when I say SQL Server, I need to provide a database connection string. I need to provide a database connection string. Okay, server name and database name. So when I, when I specify server name and database name, so it logs the information in the sys SSIS log table. Sys SSIS log table. Who will be creating the table? Or by default you will get the table in the database? No, by default you don't get the this table created in the database. So whenever you configure log provider as a SQL server and you point to a specific database, when you run it, so while at the running time, the table is already there in the system, it appends the log information. If there is no table, it creates and inserts the data into the particular table. So it's a kind of one time creation for the first time when you run the log provider of SQL Server, it creates sys SSIS log table under system tables in the particular database. Second time onwards, it appends the logs information to the particular table. Next one is Windows event log. When I say Windows event log, you might be familiar with it. It adds the logging information to the Windows event your Windows event your it is a very famous in the Windows machine. Next one is XML file again. It's a similar to the text file where you need to specify the path of the XML file. If you want to uh, log the information in the XML, you need to specify the path of the XML file. So these are all the five different kinds of log providers in SSIS. So again, I'm repeating. SSIS logging will help us to trace or track the execution flow of the package task or at container level. And it is very helpful in, in a particular scenario. Let us say one package is running in the production environment. All of a sudden it got failed. If we don't if you do not enable the logging, then it's a problem. It's very tough to trace it back. If you enable it logging, you can easily trace it back. Either it is what level container level or task level. If it is a task level, what is the uh, component or what is the transformation or what is the source or what is the target which is giving that error? What is the culprit? You can easily identify if you enable a log provider. 
so now let me show you the practical example of the log providers how to implement logging in ssis so let's open sql server data tools and let's create a package so i simply created one package with the name of log log.dtsx okay log.dtsx so it's an empty package as of now so i am planning to implement a logging in this package so before going to implement a logging let's design a package with couple of tasks so let me add some tasks some execute sql task okay i'll configure the execute sql task so let me enable one connection string for execute sql task so let me create a new connection server name is you, you can give ip address so my server name is dot slash sql2012 here i can select the database name whatever the database i'm planning to use i am selecting windows authentication if your authentication is sql simply select this and provide username and password okay let me go back to the windows authentication test the connection yeah so if you have any connection issues you can easily identify here itself rather than going forward let's click on okay and click on okay click on okay and write the statement i am simply writing delete delete from emp so it's a delete statement actually i'm simply writing delete from emp let's click on okay so it is a package is designed now i want to enable a logging for it for all the success cases you don't need to worry too much about a logging but you need to think about a failure cases as well as a developer or as a technical person so when it fails how to trace it back easily what is the culprit what is the error message so for in that scenario only you need a logging so as a technical developer as a technical person you you need to know positive and negative cases okay now how to enable there are different ways of of enabling so right click in the empty space of the package so you will be seeing logging option that's the first option or in the menu you have a ssis just click on ssis and click on logging so once you click on logging you will be getting a kind of pop up with the name of configure ssis log yeah so now i showed you different kinds of providers this is a place where you can see the providers provider type and provider for text files provider for sql server provider for profiler provider for windows event log provider for xml for time being let me take first text files okay let's select whatever the provider you want and click on add button so once you click on add button so you will get that same sql server provider okay and writes log entries for events to a csv file first i need to have a csv file readily so let me go to the specific folder and create a one dummy text file with a name of log okay i just created log file in a particular folder let me go back yeah so let's select this yeah first let, let's enable a connection I'll, I'll tell you why it is disabled yeah go to configuration if you already have a connection to write the, the stage information you'll get that connection name but i don't have any the i don't have any connection now let's click on new connection so it will ask you if the file is existing file yeah i already created a file so let's browse that file the file is log.txt click on okay so now this all the logs information is going to trace in the log.txt file okay so as of now tracing is or logging is not enabled for a package so how to enable first see log is my package name in the left top side you need to enable the package at the logging side first looking at the uh, logging at the package side then if you have a multiple task you will be getting a one two three like this so i have only one task and by default it got selected so once i select this package name here then only this allows me to select so if i don't select it won't allow me to select so please be careful let's select this package level then come to this okay so now it is now my xml my text file and the logging is linked now so what are all the events i need so do i need all the events or do i need only specific events if you see you can see around 20 around 10 plus events in the system if you want more you can go to advanced okay so for time being i am selecting all events okay so by selecting all events now my log providers 
and what are all the events I need and the logging enabling everything is done. Okay, let's click on OK. So once you click on OK, it means that logging is enabled for this particular package. So before going to run, let me show you my file is a empty file. My file is a empty file. Okay, so let me run this. Yeah, it got succeeded. So do not nothing to worry. Okay, so now let's go to the pack. A. Now let's go to the logging text file. So if you see here, this is a 22 KB of file. Let me open it. If you see here, this is the information. Okay, next. Now let me enable the logging at the SQL level. Click on logging. Now select the SQL server. Click on add. So now select this and for SQL also you need to provide a connection manager. I don't have any existing SQL connection. Click on new connection. Yeah. So do you want to log the same in, uh, information in the same database? Yes. Click on OK. And if you want to log all the events, select it and click on OK. Now before going to run, so let me go to the database and show you the log database. So my log database is a very basic database. So which is having very less number of tables or only one table I have and under system tables I don't have anything and I'm, I'm refreshing again. I don't have any table in the system tables. Let me run this again. Yeah, it's done. If you see now first, this is 42 KB file. It got increased. It, it keep on appending the information. Now let me come to the database. Yeah, if you see, I have one table which is having number of rows. This is having number of rows. So this is how we enable a logging at the package level, task level and the and we can log the information in the SQL server and at the text file. Thank you.